train inspection sounds easy. Pick up the phone, call some up, hey, come inspect my equipment. It's just not a time-based situation. There are multiple reasons for inspecting the cranes. I'm gonna put these in three broad categories. You're not gonna see these categories in the standards. The first category I'm gonna call a need-based inspection. Need-based, something has occurred to require an inspection. The ANSI and OSHA standards calls this an initial inspection, but initial inspection sounds like it only happens once. Well, when new you're going to do an initial inspection, but if I relocate or reinstall a crane, I have to do a need-based inspection, an initial. If I've modified or repaired the crane, I'm still required to do a inspection on that piece of equipment when it returns to service documenting the modifications or repairs and function testing that piece of equipment based on the needs. The next level of inspections are our routine time-based inspections. I want to break these into two broad categories, frequent and periodic. Frequent means all the time. The interval for that is one of 30 days. Typically we're going to call this our daily or shift inspection. Each day or shift before the equipment is used it gets a visual inspection done on it. Most organizations don't require documentation for this. A monthly inspection is also considered to be a frequent inspection, once every 30 days. Depending on the standards and the type of equipment, documentation could be required. The other type of time-based inspection is the periodic inspection. Most people call the periodic inspection the annual inspection. The interval for this is one to 12 months, however, the frequency is depending on the environment, condition, and use of the piece of equipment. It could be as often as every two or three months if it's in a really bad environment. So we just don't want to call it an annual, we're going to call it a periodic because the interval can change. The third level of inspections we want to do is our preventive maintenance inspections. A preventive maintenance program shall be established for your cranes and should be based on the manufacturer's recommendations. Many organizations do their annual OSHA compliance inspections with their PMs at the same time on the same documentation with the same crews. It can be done that way. Our preference is to separate them so that the same organization isn't working on the cranes that are inspecting the cranes. That degree of separation prevents a conflict of interest.